Okay, well, uh, happy 2023, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome. It's nice to see everyone here. Um, got more people than we normally do, which is kind of fun. Um, hopefully we can not disappoint anybody too much. A uh, few quick notes before we get started, um, since we do have a lot of new people here. This is the web user group. Uh, anything that you see on the web as regards to Second Life, so secondlife.com, marketplace, account management, all of that other stuff, um, they are fair game for this conversation. Uh, however, there's a lot of things that maybe aren't. Um, I will, as always, do my best to answer any questions that you might have. However, just please bear with me. There are certain things, particularly around governance, that honestly I don't know the answer to and would be very irresponsible uh, speaking out of turn. So um, there will be times, please, like I say, feel free to ask the question. But if I say, hey, I can't answer that, so it goes. Um, past that, usually the way we do this is we talk a little bit about what we've been doing um, for the last month and uh, what we expect to be doing in the future and then opening up for, for questions. Um, I have a couple of extra announcements today um, and would like to uh, welcome Alexa and Grumpity. Uh, some of you that have been coming to these for many years might remember the two of them. Um, <laughs> but uh, if you don't uh, and you only know me, uh, I learned everything I know from these two. So uh, they are um, awesome. Oh, thank you. It's true. Um, so I received a little bit of history lesson here. I received ownership of this meeting from Grumpity, I believe, but prior to that from Alexa. So um, we're going to do a little little handoff again. Um, and going forward, one of the two of them, I don't know, you guys can fight amongst yourselves, uh, will be running this. Uh, so starting in February, um, it'll be them. Porque no los dos? Yeah, hey, listen, do it, both of you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but this will be my last one. Uh, so if you have any specific read questions, queue them up. Um, I'm probably going to go like over to my living room and chill out on the couch. Yeah, it's going to be great. Put my feet up. Thanks, Neri. Yeah, that's that's the really important part. Is that uh, once I'm gone, then definitely just talk, talk crap behind my back. Pretty please. That's how I'll know I'm missed. <laughs> Hope, thank you. That's very sweet. Um, <clears throat> but we can get into that later. Uh, I did want to just go ahead and do a couple of highlights um, because last month was December and lots of holidays. And you know a lot of people out. Uh, as I mentioned last month, there probably wasn't going to be a whole lot, um, you know, to see. And sure enough, uh, we we did not uh, release too much last month. I really, 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 really wanted to get that marketplace search stuff, um, that upgrade that I was talking about uh, out before um, before the end of the year. And unfortunately, it just kept. It kept breaking on us. Um, so we made the decision that rather than put something that was slightly unstable on the marketplace through the holidays and make all of your holidays worse, uh, we would we would hold off. Um, but that being said, look for that sometime soon in the new year um, as we kind of cycle back in and people start coming back to work. Uh, we'll be looking to make that our first um, first thing. And a reminder of what that is for some of you that haven't been here in the past is that we have done a bunch of work on um, our search instance uh, on, you know, search.secondlife.com and um, made that much more robust, um, particularly on the back end, the infrastructure. Uh, and it allows us to start implementing things like relevance um, and you know improving your search data and and this the search returns um, we wanted to bring that into the marketplace as well so it turns out marketplace is its own special little beast as we all knew um, 
but in particular with uh, with the search thing, uh, it's it's being a little bit more more persnickety than we were hoping. Um, but we're getting close. Should come out soon, um, and I look forward to hearing about that in February from your two uh, Grumpity and Alexei here. Um, aside from that, the other thing that we've been talking about is the land ownership journey, um, in particular the kind of the welcome portal pages um, the, that we've been talking about to um, kind of help explain all of the various ways that you can own and engage with land here in Second Life, specifically for our new users, because, you know, all of us sitting at this table, we all kind of understand it because we've been doing this for 10 years. Um, but coming in new, if you remember, understanding like, hey, how do I own a little piece of Second Life is actually pretty hard. Uh, we don't make it easy, so we're going to try and make that a lot easier. On that note, once that releases, and I expect that to release sometime in the next couple of weeks, um, once that does come out, the next thing we'll be working on is the Linden Home Picker. So those of you who have been working or, or used the Linden Home Picker, um, maybe hopefully identify with my frustration with that tool. Um, and so as my last official act, as I go, um, I have nominated that as the next thing that we go fix. Um, so can't really reveal a whole not lot now simply because the new portal pages aren't out yet. So I have nothing to really point at and say, hey, this is what it's going to look like. Um, but once those come out, you'll be able to kind of get a feel for, oh, this is the direction that they're going to go. Um, so keep your eye out for that. We're super excited about it. Um, we've been building this whole design system in the background that's going to let us, you know, create more of these um, updated web uh, properties. All of our web properties basically look like they're from 2003 because for the most part they are. Um, so just trying to drag Second Life web kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Um, and that's, that's the goal. So that was a lot of words. Um, I don't think we had any homework from last month. Anara, do you remember? Did I give anybody any homework? I don't think I did. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Brooke. Um, still filed two JIRAs. Oh, well, thank you, Neri. You talk at your homework. That's fair. Any questions on all of that spew that I just got through? And also, Kali, if I missed anything, speak up now. I don't, I didn't hear any missed things. Uh, Ifrit Hubs. Um, so that's a uh, land team thing, um, specifically our, our studios team. Uh, I actually can't say too much about that, um, mostly because I don't know. Yeah, should be in world rather than web based. That is correct. Neri, thank you so much for filing those shares. Um, I do remember some that came through. <laughs> oh, you do hear a purring cat. So my cat's name is Pippin. He's on my lap. He's being very sweet. Yes, we will. Yes. Um, still want to know, I mean, like, we're not entirely sure what that's going to look like yet. Uh, like I said, we're still planning. Um, so I haven't handed off a specific, this is what the new marketplace will be. 
Um, but but as a frequent shopper, uh... <laughs> indeed, we all have many thoughts. We have many thoughts. But your feature requests and and the thing, so Neri, like super, please continue submitting those, uh, so that we can throw them in. Absolutely. If yeah. you've got ideas, if you look at something and go, uh, you know what, it would be so much easier if, you know, this, I press this and this is what I get. Um, I'm looking for this and there would be, you know, a tool that did fill out feature requests. We look at them every single week um, and we, it's a group of us, uh, normally about 10 people. Um, and we review them for, you know, effort, uh, how long it would take, um, what the impact would be, and we import those. Oh, yeah, I would definitely go for a bacon button. If I could have one of those on my computer, I would have one installed immediately. I have no idea if that's how you spell narwhal. I think it is. Excellent. Yeah, I think you got it. Hey, Reed, can I have your bear? Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. I uh, I operate under Oz's old um, rule. Show me something in Second Life that you that I've never seen before. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah. I've been here for 12 years. Good luck. Three of those years were spent on frontline support. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. I was in governance for a long time. I saw all the... What are you selling, and and are you selling avatars? Yeah, everything costs a lot more on VR chat because it's harder. I think for most people, it's harder to make the content, and there are also less people making the content. Uh. Do they take a cut? Because I had heard, and I could be wrong, that the cut was the cut was larger. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, Gumroad. Yeah, it's certainly something I've witnessed myself, particularly um, people not wanting to um, do much development in Second Life because of uh, the price of land. Thank you. I'll pass that uh, the compliment on to the uh, moles team.
Uh, just a quick, um, I'm just going to circle back in here. Uh, because we're mostly talking about, this is the web focused web team stuff. Um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can say about land pricing. Uh, it's a different team handled by different stuff. I don't actually know the answer to those. I mean, happy to hear any feedback about it, of course. Uh, and you can always submit feature requests uh, as Jira. But I, me personally, I cannot not comment one way or the other. I'd only get it wrong. Any other questions about um, what we were doing before or what we're doing next? If not, I mean, I suppose I can just open it up to basic questions about all the things. I want to hear what people did over the holidays. Ooh, Hope, that's a great question. Um, so they haven't been mentioned in a long time, um, mostly because uh, I haven't prioritized them. Um, Place pages are in a weird state. Um, you're absolutely right. They don't work the way they ought to, um, and they don't work the way I would like them to. Um, and I'm really struggling to come up with what is the best use case um, for for place pages. I think there's a lot of cool things in in theory that you could do with place pages, but the way that it, they're currently implemented is makes all of that really tough. Um, so the options are kind of either go in and try and overhaul what currently exists with spit and duct tape, um, which is something we're actually pretty good at, um, or scrap them and try and come up with something better. The only reason why we haven't done anything thus far, at least anything drastic, is that they are the underpinning for how uh, auctions work. So all of our in-world auctions um, for, you know, parcels and stuff uh, are underpinned by the place pages. So we can't just turn them off and, you know, go do different things with them because then that would kill all of our auctions, which we like and we know you like. So yeah, um, good question about place pages. It's um, trying to decide what, what we're going to do with those is uh, a good open question. If you have ideas, <laughs> we'd certainly love to hear them. I mean, look, it, it would be nice to have something uh, for people to be able to show off, you know, to the wider world without having to log into Second Life, you know, your own space. Um, and, and we'd like to be able to host that and, you know, provide extra benefits uh, for it that you wouldn't be able to do with, you know, just making your own website uh, with, you know, snapshots and pics. Um, but right now what currently exists is is in kind of a weird limbo state where it doesn't quite do that um so they they need a solid rethink yeah near you're on that's um the the problem with that is that you know google maps they they spent billions creating that right <laughs> so <laughs> uh just saying oh just make it like google um is sometimes a little like, yeah, I would like to. Ooh, for a penny. Hey, if you know how to do it for a penny, let me know. File the Jira. I'll even pay the penny.
near you? I think not really. Um, mostly because it would rely on people being able to categorize them. Um, Actually, I think they do fall into they they were related to the categories in which you place your land to show in search. Unfortunately, that part of it didn't uh, get exposed correctly in the place pages. A little bit of memory from working on the project back seven whatever years ago. Yeah, so like I say, they're, I mean, they're, they're just in a weird place right now. Um, there's there's some good ideas, some kernel of good ideas. So I don't I don't really want to just get rid of them. Um, what I want to do is find a way to make them useful. Uh, but I also can't just completely tear them apart and build them back up because auctions is underpinned. So it they're just in a weird limbo. I think it's an interesting question because I think with the way it was originally, uh, some of the original intent was it was going to be a really easy way for you as a property owner to have a page that talked about, uh, let's say, your club. And you could put your images of your club, you could put a calendar up, you could put the URL, um, you could put information you could uh, at one point you could show things for sale on your place page and then you could use that on social media as a, you know a quick way to have quote unquote you know like a web page that you could use to advertise your events and have people see what your calendar was what was going on um, the events you had and kind of a one-stop shopping page is that something that you could see a use for. Yeah. I mean, I, I think you could, you know, when you're doing, uh, I see a lot of tweets, uh, or yeah, a lot of tweets on Twitter, people I'm following about their events and everything, but if you don't catch the exact tweet, you're not going to have all the information, and being able to, you know, bookmark my favorite DJ's website and be able to check, you know, go in and check anytime and go, oh, great, you know, they're playing tomorrow. Um, is in some ways, you know, faster than maybe going through uh, Destination Guide or other places. Yeah, I hope I agree. Um, you know, it, it it would take some some education and we want to make it so that it's something we can show off and be proud of uh, when we start educating need some need some extra love where's a fun story about what they did last month any fun holiday stories? Anybody get in arguments with an uncle? Hey, I would agree with that. And that was something uh, at the time we were looking at. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd love to see, you know, like a tighter integration between place pages, events pages, maps, um, 
you know, destination guide, search, all of it, um, all of which were, were kind of in the process of overhauling. So I, I think there's a world in which place pages can be kind of revamped and, and rethought and um, remade in that image. Just not this week. Yeah, I hope events is high on my list of things that need need additional throttling. It's not next. I know, right? Chop chop read. Tick tock tick tock. Who else has got questions? It's open, open forum at this point. We've got, let's see, we've got about half an hour. Oh, Pantera, yeah, hey, um, community categories. I think that is a fantastic feature request. You should submit that. And I think, yeah, uh, you may be pleasantly surprised soon. Um, so, but yeah. really, um, these are maintained by our awesome marketing team. Um, and uh, uh, we will pass both of those requests on to them. Again, this is not uh, the group of people that can discuss land prices. Uh, I did link uh, the other user groups, and the land team does have a user group. All of these are one meeting a month. This one's one meeting a month. Trust me, you don't want to see me any more than this. This is me full on coffee and in a super good mood. Yeah. The rest of the time <laughs> I'm just angry. Stomping around and yelling at people. Mostly about place pages. <laughs> Pippin always making me look good. Hey, it's better than the sirens we had a couple of months ago. And helicopters. I swear I had like the FBI search party out looking for me, circling my house. I, I didn't do a weekly back then, did I? Wow. Yeah, I probably ran. <laughs> I probably ran out of things to say. What in the world would you talk about on a weekly basis? Reed, I used to do like three.
to five triages a week, resident run, uh, resident uh, facing triages back in the day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're right. What'd you have for, what'd you have for breakfast this morning? Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> what'd I have for lunch? Coffee. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I handed this meeting off to Kira. It was definitely not weekly at that time. Lucy, anything? I'm usually good for at least one or two. What you got? Lucy, you're you're fine because you're gonna. I'm gonna be at both, so. Well, you said you don't know if you want to wait until next month. Alexa's gonna be here next month too. Is what yeah. she was saying. Sorry, Lucy, yeah. you're stuck with me again. Forever. been trying to get away from Alexa for 12 years. <laughs> it's not true. I've been following her around for eight years. You know, Lucy, we've looked at it before. Um, it It's a little tricky with, uh, with, uh, 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 going if you're if you get a la carte and then you want to uh turn things turn get rid of things god i can't find my words you know uh you, you want 700 groups and then you decide you don't want to it gets a little trickier with billing um so i don't know we're it, it it's kind of a pain in the butt that's a, that's the biggest reason why we haven't done it Oh no, I definitely agree. Yeah, 
for as far back as I can remember. Understandable that it's wanted by many, um, but is it uh, the the price difference between premium and premium plus is too large, um, or that um, the benefit offering of premium plus is too much, or because I feel like we're kind of heading in that direction with three different subscription levels that we have now. So is it that if you had one thing to choose, you'd choose groups? Is it, i.e., is it specifically an ask to get more groups versus any of the other possible options? Ah, okay. So things like free uploads. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, true, Lucy. And what would that be? Brooke, your tier could have gone down because we lowered mainland pricing? Uh, Lucy, Gridscoop experiences, we're looking into that. Oh, we lowered mainland pricing together with the rollout of PLUS membership. We also dropped prices on mainland. Wow, I get to tell people the good news all over again. Isn't that fun? I get to do this on the yeah. time. Aren't you looking forward to taking this over? Also, did you know that uh, as a Premium Plus subscriber, you get to own a homestead uh, without needing to own a full region? No. It's actually the other way around. Um, so larger plots got slashed. Hey everybody, I've been nice, I've been super nice, but for reals, we, we actually can't engage with what's going on with mainland and 
in worlds and land and stuff. So let's let's come back to web. And if we can't, then I may have to ask some people to leave. Okie doke. Okay, thanks, Lucy. Benefits for Premium Plus you can totally ask for. Talking about the merits of land ownership um, in specific is not something we can really engage with. Yeah, understood. And thank you for that uh, that request. Heard. I've got Alexander down for cheaper land. Any other questions? Last chance. 18 minutes left. And then, and then I'm going to go. Thank you. That's very sweet. I'm going to miss all of y'all as well. I look forward to this every month. I think we've built a, a fun little group here. Understood, Brooke. Thank you. I am already a mini read penguin. There's, I don't, I don't know how to create a separate mini read penguin. I also was really, I was trying to upgrade my um, avatar to a um, like a full mesh one, and I couldn't find a little penguin that I liked as much. I said, found a mesh penguin. Yeah, but it wasn't as cute as this one. Well, I mean, fine. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Lucy, we reserve the right to change the rates. Yeah, Neri, was one of yours the one about uh, a feed of creators' new items in Marketplace? Yeah, we saw that this morning. Yeah. Ooh, Lucy, standard negotiation tactic. Well done. Next time I need to buy a car, I'm bringing you. I just see a crazy sombrero out of the corner of my eye. What's going on here? Yeah, there is a giant a sombrero, sombrero at the head of the oh, table. Afraid this is amazing. I want this on my penguin. <laughs> Only bigger. You're just accreting salsa. Oh, Pantera. Oh, <laughs> my, my heart breaks. 
An RSS feed for every marketplace store with new releases. Uh, I have no idea how hard that would be to maintain, but my assumption is very. But maybe. I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm just wondering how we would implement it. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, so it would take kind of take the place of, um, you know, signing up for their VIP list group or something and, you know, no longer needing to receive those group announcements. It, I, it makes sense to me. And I will be honest that I don't know how hard or difficult it is to create um, custom RSS feeds and then maintain them. But I do know how many marketplace stores there are, and there are so many thousands of them. So my brain boggles. Yeah, but all of this still requires that you create an RSS feed for every store, right? Like every store gets its own. And that's the part that I'm I'm struggling to wrap my brain around. Because there are so many stores. It's so many feeds. The date uploaded area in Marketplace? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Alexander, that's that's totally on the on the wish list. Um, we've been talking about that for quite some time. Um, so, I'm I'm happy to give that one my personal thumbs up. Being able. Yeah, to... uh, I think that we were talking about feeds for favorited stores, Lucy. So yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know if anybody would want alerts for every single thing, but the ones that yeah. they were excited about. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was just thinking that in order to accommodate that, you would have to at least create the, the feed for every single store and then let people decide, ah, this store, this store, and this store are the feeds that I want to subscribe to. I'm not. I'm slightly less boggled. Um, that's good. Yeah. You're the one that would have to implement it, so that's good. <laughs> I just sit around and decide whether I like the idea or not, and whether it should be blue. Also, it should be blue. If read that's yeah, like I'm thinking like a seven. Ooh, here's a fun one. Alexander, what does GLTF stand for? It is the new uh, materials format. Ah. And um, that is not. Huh. Right. Um, it is also a mesh format. Uh, interesting. I don't know that we have considered a specifically a way to sort for 
uh, GLTF items. Put it in our hat. Yeah. And my personal philosophy is if, if we have access to that information, I'd love to be able to give it to you. So if we can tell which item is that and which items are not, I'd love to be able to let you sort by it. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I would also like to be able to actually what I'd like to be able to do is get rid of the boxes so that you don't need them. But that's that's like future crazy talk. Oh, yes. Tell me why you like the boxes. It's so true. My cats love boxes. Mm, that's fair. All right. Fair enough. Neri, I agree with that, except that it, it really clutters up inventory. But eh, this is all kind of beyond. If I'm going to enforce web only <laughs> on everybody else, I should enforce it on myself. My issues with inventory maintenance are not, not subject to this meeting. Yeah, Lucy, that's, I mean, I agree with you, right? The The boxes are, well, they're quite literally black boxes, right? I mean, you, you can have people like Brooke, who says why I list the contents of what's in the box, but you're really taking Brooke's word for it. You know, you can't, as a consumer, actually inspect the box before you buy. So, yep. Not that I don't trust you, Brooke. I do. if I started throwing stones because people made mistakes. So I make all the mistakes. You can ask Grumpy. He's been employing me for six years. Mistakes left and right. Panther, anything before we go? I haven't seen anything from you for a bit. Nice to know that there are still honest and loyal people out there. 
I'm not the only one. Ifrit, I want some tools around that kind of thing as well. I don't know if we can do it or not, but I want them. Styles. Marketplace yeah, styles. styles. Yeah, you want to take it, Colin? Go for it. Um, Marketplace styles. We were going to work on at the end of last year, but... Uh, the Elasticsearch upgrade took longer than we expected, and now we need to get the rest of the styles work reprioritized. But it's a good thing that you're asking for it here in front of Grumpity. It's another good one to ask for in front of Grumpity. I also want that, Lucy. I think we talked about having an option to shelve stuff from the cart, and it's in mm -hmm. the list, but a lot of marketplace things are in the list. Yeah, we're still compiling our, our list of potential features, and then, and then there will be the epic Thunderdome where we decide which ones actually make it in. Alex, I don't know that we could really do it, but I've thought about stuff like number of triangles and uh, prims and whatever. If we could programmatically figure it that out and automatically add it so that people don't have to type it themselves, that would be really nice. Yeah. It goes along with that. Like, as long as we have access to that information, and by we, I mean as long as the marketplace has access to that information, I don't see any particular reason why we should not just, you know, allow you to filter and sort by it. Yeah, Alex, I agree. Lucy, yeah, I mean, you know, there's obviously some UX um, considerations there, but uh, I, I like giving people options. Um, obviously, you are correct. You don't want to overwhelm people but there's there's ways around that right like you can you can just set things as ah i don't care about this and then we won't show it to you anymore i mean that's a right off the top of my head but yeah i agree with you there's some some considerations there but in general as a general philosophy right i mean if we have access to things that'll make searching for the item that you want a more useful efficient pleasurable experience. I don't see any reason not to give it to you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What you said about a, a details tab or a technical details tab, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, filters and sorts uh, are, as long as that information that, you know, is already being stored somewhere, they're I don't want to say trivial to uh, to add, but 
they're, they're pretty straightforward. Um, and so, and I think they can be really powerful. So I'm all in favor of more. Oop, it's 301. Um, thank you, everyone. Happy 2023. This has been a uh, lovely conversation. I'm glad to see all of your smiling faces again for the last time. And you will be in good hands with uh, Grumpity and Alexa and Kali. Thank you, Reed. Come back and visit. Of course. Um, I just might, I might sneak in, pretend to be somebody else. We'll see. Cheers. <laughs> a read read <laughs> thank you thanks y'all Asta ciao talk to you soon Oh, you know what? Now that I'm a penguin, I can't fly away. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs>